Welcome to our video, Japan and the World. The topic for this time is, right for Prime Minister Ishiba to abolish cooperation post with Russia. Ishiba rightly recognized that there was almost no chance that economic cooperation with Russia would lead to the return of the Northern Territories. I would like to focus on the editorial board. The Senki Shimbun. Prime Minister Shigeru Ishiba has abolished the cabinet-level post of Minister for Economic Cooperation with Russia. Until now, this has been a position concurrently held by the Minister of Economy, Trade and Industry. Chief Cabinet Secretary Yoshimasa Hayashi told the press that Prime Minister Ishiba made the decision to scrap the post. We commend the Prime Minister for this wise political decision. Changed circumstances. Russia continues to pursue its invasion of Ukraine and Japan has imposed economic sanctions on the Vladimir Putin regime. Under the circumstances, maintaining a cabinet level position on economic cooperation with Russia is inherently contradictory. This post was created in September 2016 by then Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. He named Hiroshi Siko then Minister of Economy, Trade and Industry, to the concurrent post. Four months earlier, Shinzo Abe had visited Russia. While there, he presented the Russian president with an eight-point Japan-Russia cooperation plan. It included cooperation on oil and gas development and industrial promotion in the Far East. Furthermore, it called on Japanese companies to invest in line with the scheme. In other words, the job of the Minister for Economic Cooperation with Russia was designed to promote Shinzo Abe's plan. Frozen Cooperation Overall the intent was to create momentum toward the return of the Northern Territories, which continue to be illegally occupied by Russia. In addition, the resolution of the Northern Territories came with an opportunity for Russia to conclude a peace treaty with Japan. However, with Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine in February 2022, the Japanese side froze economic cooperation. Thereafter, the ministerial post was meaningless. Its portfolio could have been abolished at that point. However, the Fumio Kishida administration kept it as a cabinet post with the avowed goal of supporting the smooth withdrawal of Japanese companies. If the goal was withdrawal, Logically there was no need to maintain the cabinet-level post for promoting cooperation. Maintaining this post to facilitate economic cooperation sent the wrong signal to Vladimir Putin's regime. At the very time pressure was needed, the administration had a high-level office devoted to cooperating with the aggressor. Russia's plans for northern territories. To begin with, Putin is only interested in concluding a peace treaty that does not involve returning any Japanese territory. Fairly speaking, there is almost no chance that Japan's economic cooperation would lead to the return of the Northern Territories. In fact, after invading Ukraine, Putin signed a measure to turn the Northern Territories into a special economic zone and provide tax benefits to domestic and foreign companies that establish a presence in the region. That in itself was an unforgivable violation of Japanese sovereignty. Military drills to intimidate Japan. Russia also unilaterally suspended negotiations for a peace treaty with Japan. Moreover, the Russian military has repeatedly conducted drills in the Northern Territories themselves. Furthermore, it has engaged in threatening behavior toward Japan with the Chinese Navy and Air Force in what they call joint patrols. In his policy speech, Prime Minister Ishiba stated that we will continue strong sanctions against Russia and support for Ukraine. On this issue, Ishiba should work with Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky and the leaders of other countries that have had their territories seized by Russia. That's all. Right for PM Ishiba to abolish cooperation post with Russia. Ishiba rightly recognized that there was almost no chance that economic cooperation with Russia would lead to the return of the Northern Territories. 
From the editorial board, the Sankey Shimbun.